Welcome to Havale's webinar series on art selling. Today we have two Australian guests, the co-founders of Art Lovers Australia, an online gallery. We speak with Nancy Donaldson, the co-founder and art director, and Jared Knight, the co-founder and creative director. Founded in 2016 by Nancy and Jared, Art Lovers Australia is widely recognized as one of Australia's most comprehensive and successful online galleries. With over 10,000 curated pieces of art from almost 500 quality artists, just 1 in 25 artists are accepted onto the site, Art Lovers Australia maintains one of the highest quality online galleries, resulting in delighted customers. Certainly a great portfolio for any gallery owner. Art Lovers Australia is also the first Australian art gallery to fully adopt and deploy augmented reality technology using Havale's uh, AR platform in its art selling business. Hi guys, tell us more about what made you deploy augmented reality in the first place in your art selling business. Was there any aha moment you can share with us? I think the key, the key factor is it solves a major problem in terms of buying things online, particularly with art, because the first thing people ask when they go buy an art, be it online or even in a gallery, bricks and mortar gallery is, uh, will it fit my space? Will it go with everything in my room? Um, is it, yeah, is it color wise? Is everything going to match? Yeah, am I making the right decision? And so I think that helps bridge that gap and make people more comfortable um, with being, in being able to see it in their house with their furniture, with their colors, and, and to see if it's going to fit that wall that they're thinking about getting it on. Yeah, it definitely enhances the customer's experience. So it's taking it to another level that we haven't had access to. And I think, to be honest, it's surpassing physical galleries. So a physical gallery can't drive it over to your house that quickly, but we can, within a few seconds, using Hobbley, have the artwork in their lounge room or their bedroom for them to see what it's going to look like in exactly, you know, it's true to scale. So it takes a lot of guesswork out of it. So it just makes just just makes it like this. It makes the experience easier and more comfortable for the for the customer. And that's why any retail um, or online marketplace is all about. You, know, you want the customer to have the best experience from the moment they log on and walk through the door of a shop. So yeah. it's a pretty pretty new technology, and there are a lot of like you know galleries out there considering. It, but they're like, well, maybe it's too early for us. Do you feel like it becoming a main, mainstream or? What's your thought? I, yeah, I think it's one, it's one, it's something that will become industry standard. Mm -hmm. We're having this discussion earlier. It's, um, you already see it across various, I guess, various, um, like real estate, real, real estate, estate, kitchen, kitchen designers have that augmented reality so people can see their kitchen, how it's going to actually look and feel in their own home. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so now that technology is there, you can't go back. Everyone's going to expect to be able to look at the product in the home. Yeah. So it's, it's not too early. I, I'd say get in there now because then you've got a point of difference. Do you have any type of sort of anecdotal stories or anything you can share with us in terms of like, did you see an uptake in sales after deploying AR or was it more engagement? I mean, I'm referring to house, uh, house.com has done a survey to about a million people of their like of their customer sort of audience, mm -hmm. uh, they said that after surveying one million people, that uh, the users said that they are eleven times more likely to purchase after experiencing products in augmented reality. I would say it's probably similar, except we don't have a million people to survey this. So we're in the industry of visuals, and so it totally translates to more engagement and more comfort. You know, they're more comfortable proceeding with the purchase. But we've definitely seen a trend for people buying larger works, so more expensive works and larger size. So I think it's, what it's doing is making them more engaged and more comfortable for those bigger purchases. Were they mentioning that they experienced it in augmented reality before? I mean, were they commenting like, hey, I, I put it on my wall and I felt really it belongs here? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've had we had a few customers with great feedback about using the augmented reality. Um, we had one, one of our customers, he, he's buying a present for his wife, and he thinks, saw, saw one of the artworks on our side and went, I loved it, I'll just try this, try this hovelay. And he went there, went to the space, and put it up, put it up on this wall using the technology. And his words to us was, well, 
I wanted it, but when I saw my wall, I had to have it. And then the whole fear of missing out that someone else would see how great this work looks in their space and they're going to get it. So I had to get on and buy that right now, otherwise I'm going to miss out. Yeah. So it sort of it, it took him from, from a want to a need. So yeah, he wanted it, but then he, once he saw it in his room, he goes, well, now I need that and I don't want to miss out. So it's sort of like, it, like I said before, it helps bridge that gap and gives people more confidence in what they're buying and makes them more comfortable with the purchase. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it makes them more um, enthused and more motivated to get it to buy. Mm -hmm. And particularly when you talk about arts too, um, artists, uh, we're, we're both artists, um, before we start an online gallery, <laughs> um, and, but they're visual people. And so a lot of people who like art are visual people. And so you give them a, a, some measurements and they're going to go, oh, numbers, what? I'm not an accountant. How big is a meter? It's, or a foot? It's, I can't figure it out in my head. But if they can just see it visually, put it in their room, using their phone, it's, it's easy as, and it just helps them with um, yeah. okay. getting across the line in terms of buying art, I think. So I think that went from, because we do lots of different ways of promoting work. So his wife had seen that work in our book, so it was a physical thing, but, you know, that's very small. So once he got onto the app and saw it, how it was going to look in a larger scale in a home, that made the difference. So people might be interested, but it just gets them over the line of what it's going to look like in their space. Mm -hmm. And like anyone will tell you too, when they've who's been to like a major art exhibition, like whether you go and see Salvador Dali or Renoir or Picasso, they'll go, you've seen these images in the book or online for years and years and years and you know them, but when you actually stand there in front of it or you can actually see it to scale, then that just takes it to a different level. So the, the opportunity to see something to scale in your house is just perfect, yeah. perfect for our business. So. Obviously, there's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of interest and a lot of excitement about the technology, which is awesome. Where do you see uh, opportunities for you know for art galleries, for like galleries like yours, to to expand to other markets, to our markets, to to you know like interior design or stuff like that? Well, I think for us, we've been working more one on one, mm -hmm. but we can see now we're about to go and work a lot with designers the client and put it up in their lounge room and discuss it right then and there or they can make their um, selection and go to the home and and, and show them and, and actually consider it right there so i think designers working with galleries is going to be a stronger link yeah i think it's, it's really beneficial to yeah obviously not just us but designers um as a flow and effect from our website that they can you know, like they said take their clients and they go through the options for the space with the clients then and there in the lounge room and go and see what different, how different artworks will look with their furniture and on their walls and arrange with their other items in the house and well, style. When you said earlier about some galleries saying it's too early, we, we had a bit of pushback from some of our artists as well. They're saying, oh, you know, yes, it's nice and fancy, but will it make any difference? And one of the artists who got the most pushback from now has actually put it onto his own website. So <laughs> he's, been, he's been obviously completely converted, Converse. but like at the beginning there's always skeptics and then obviously you know, it's been it's proven it's worth for him to actually implement it on his own website. Mm. So once people try it, they'll they'll realise and they'll get feedback from buyers. And it's just, I mean, I don't ask everyone, but if I'm speaking to a client, I'll say, hey, just try it out on your wall. And it just gives them that confidence. Right. Well, I've typically got back from artists, um, just in general, I just say, oh, yeah, we tried the hovel it was amazing. You know, it's in my artwork anywhere I can put it. And to scale, it's just such a fa an amazing app and yeah. to be able to visualise an artwork in, in a space so easily and quickly. It just makes a big difference. And they just, yeah, art, artists are super excited about using it. Even I think even the... Even getting back to things like just doing exhibitions and figuring out where the hang works for their exhibitions, I can just put it up and see how that looks there and move things around. Curators will be able to curate their, their exhibitions yeah, yeah, more yeah. effectively, right? Poor assistant will around the big artwork and they're moving and holding it there for them to see if it looks good. Mm -hmm. They can just bring up their phones and just go, oh, line up and see, you know, if that artwork goes next to that, well next to that artwork and the flow to the exhibition, etc. Um, yeah, I think it's got multiple. 
And I think yeah, even nice. beyond the physical of, of curating at a, an actual gallery in physical space, I think we'll probably move more and more to augmented reality exhibitions where people don't need to go to the physical gallery or for an artist to spend, like, to be honest, it's thousands of dollars to hire a space, you know, and obviously people have to pay rent, so it makes mm. sense. But if an artist can set up an experience through augmented reality, that's fantastic. Mm. A virtual a virtual exhibition. Because why, when I mean, people don't need to go to, to see it, you know, physical space, especially we realise that because we're, online so we have clients all around the world especially all around australia and you know they would never be able to drive over to our house you know or to our gallery but they can definitely get online and have a pretty good experience hmm. so basically it could broaden the marketplace for now they can have a virtual exhibition say for example and people can tune in from you know the uk or the usa or anywhere to visit virtual virtual exhibitions hmm. so you know, it's that's the exciting thing about augmented reality and virtual reality is you can just sort of it's so once once it's now it's started, it's just the dreams and the limits almost seem boundless. And I see lots of the really big galleries worldwide are documenting their collections because they can only hang so much of their historical works on the walls. So in their in their documentation, they're getting that more accessible online at least and now I can see they could have lots of virtual exhibitions so I mean the big exhibitions of Salvador Dali can only tour with us maybe every few years but you could actually just go online and have an augmented reality at will so I yeah. mean I'd love to see more of that so because we don't get to everything we want to see hmm. Hmm. but it also helps it, it, it's more cost effective too I think because you think you've got major exhibition by major artist there's the shipping, there's insurance, there's hiring of the space. If you can just have a tour online and actual size and, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. but yeah, it's, um, Like, obviously, we still go to exhibitions because we love it, but we just can't drive to everything in the world, so... Exactly. You've got to have sometimes that the experience is going to be augmented and sometimes you can have the physical experience. The more you real art, the easier it is to understand it when you're in augmented as well because you've had so much experience, you know what that translates as. As is an early adopters, I mean, it, uh, it kind of resonates in so many ways that, you know, uh, it, it brought you to, uh, uh, to TV Home Renovation Show in Australia called The Block, right? And yes. uh, tell us, <laughs> tell us what's going on there. I mean, it looks like our partnership is also uh, featured uh, in the TV show. Yeah, they've been. We filmed it all earlier in the year, so we're waiting to see who uses the app and how many times they show it. But the, it was actually a key part of our pitch to the TV show. So the block is pretty much the number one home renovation show in Australia, and. I mean, obviously, I've been a major fan for years. Yeah, it's been going, it's been going for about 15 years, I think. Wow. But it, but it has well over a million viewers each episode, which you know, may not be big, be big in America, but in Australia, that's big because of a small population. Um, but it's it's extremely popular, and once it, you know, there's, there's a big buzz about it every year when it comes on. So um, it's great to be associated with, with the block. For as the a brand. For, yeah. As a brand for the first time this year for us. But I think uh, the augmented reality of Hovelay was a real, um, a real benefit in in them wanting to work with us um, yeah. because they love innovation, mm -hmm. uh, they love anything new, anything new and exciting, and and they love keep showing good products, help people with their own renovations. So that's a big selling point for them mm -hmm. as a TV show and all their sponsors. So um, yeah, Hovelay and augmented reality was. Um, a big, yeah. big factor in us. I contacted them early on with our partnership with you, and we've had to kind of keep it a little bit low, our promotion of Hovelay, because <coughs> we didn't want to do a spoiler, because obviously the block will be revealing mm. Hovelay mm -hmm. and the access to putting artwork on your wall as, a, you know, as something that they're, you know, one of the first to use. So once that goes to air, we'll be, like, mega promoting <laughs> It was a bit humorous though because sometimes I'd talk to the contestants and see it on your wall and they're saying, oh, we don't have a wall up yet. <laughs> so <laughs> they hadn't put a wall. But, 
Yes. So you can put a lay on anything. So even if it's a post there, we put Hubble lay. We put paintings out in our trees at times yeah. to go. Oh yeah, just attach it, pin it to that tree. So you can mm. pin it to almost anything. But it was funny, and I say just pin it to your wall, and they go, "There's no wall yet." Well, there's an imaginary virtual wall that you can put on. Yeah, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> that's exactly. 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 So, so, but, so um, this is great. Um, um, you know, I, I I know you had Kabbalah for some time, and you 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 you've done some really interesting and very exciting uh, videos on that, and kind of encourage your users to use them. You you feel like you would you would recommend this to other galleries out there, and how would you kind of make them uh, mean feel like more comfortable with uh, with adopting this technology? Well, I definitely encourage them. I think. It, as Jared said earlier, it will it will be industry standard. So if you don't have it, you're going to be disappointing your your customers. They'll be expecting it. Yeah, it'll become the expectation. It's mm -hmm. like you know, I, you don't have. I've laid down an augmented reality. Well, how can I see this? You know, it's like things like you know, things like Facebook and Google Maps. Like how do people, you know, people used to read maps. Now they just look on their phone and it shows them where to go. And like, you know, even to think back how we used to used to exist in the world 10, 20 years ago without mobile phones or without Google Maps, you know, it was also hands-on. Um, so it's just it's just evolution of society, I think, and it's progress. And I think if, if to, to embrace it is to keep up with what's happening in society mm -hmm. and to not embrace it would be to leave yourself a big disservice and to be left behind, I think, because mm -hmm. it's um, it's the way it's the way of now, it's the way of the future. It's yeah. um, it just it just helps. Everyone's looking for that new thing, but it's like Ned, like we talked about numerous times here. It's you know, it's going to become industry standard. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you see it not just in art. Now you see it in like bathroom designs where people go into stores to sort out you know what tiles and bath and so on to have. They sit down on the computer and map it all together for you. So it's it's just it's just ultimately comes down to if you have a product to sell, you'll need it to help sell it because um, people will have an expectation that they can just look at it in their room yeah. and be comfortable with that choice. So yeah. to not have them uncomfortable, I think. So, so Milan, I, I think that there is a, a bit of resistance in the physical gallery world because they've done, they've had that space for so long that uh, it's a bit sad to see a lot of physical galleries are actually closing up now because they're not competing, they're not keeping up with what's new. <sighs> Many of them haven't even got an online component to the physical gallery. So, I mean, I think if they're going to survive, they're going to have to move forward with technology. I mean, uh, they are in the, the great situation where they can physically take the artwork to a client that lives in that city. But if they want to survive, you have to have a client base at least Australia, or, oh, you know, your countrywide as well as international. Well, it's a worldwide marketplace. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's like a key factor in helping sell what you have to sell. So um, to not have it would be a bit silly, I think. It'll be very obvious that yeah. you're not keeping up if you don't do it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's really about how you choose to use it. So I mean, yes. there's so many advantages, and if you use it well, it's it's a positive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like like a lot of things. Uh, um, it's about how you use it, what you bring to it, what you you you, you take from it. Um, so I guess this is a little thing for like Jared and I. We we personally met on an online app, so we kind of go our art side is kind of the online dating for art. You know, we match you with your perfect art piece. So, you now people do everything online now, so. Well, that's an idea. You can swipe left or right <laughs> for your favorite art, like. <laughs> But it, you know, I, I, I think that's right now, so that's good one. <laughs> But, you know, I just think people become more and more comfortable with that space. Well, guys, thank you so much for, for this lovely conversation. I think uh, it's very exciting, and we'll uh, definitely speak more. Uh, there are more, yeah. more things to come from Art Lovers Australia um, and I encourage everybody to go and search it's, you can just google it and the website is there uh, it's an mm -hmm. incredible uh, collection of, of artworks and, and um, sort of hand-picked art um, by these uh, incredible 
art lovers like you are. So thank you so much. And, thank you. Uh, and the thank world... you so much for bringing your technology to us. us. Thank you.